hello friends welcome back to my channel where i share my passion for baking and cake decorating with you as we all know valentine's day is around the corner so i thought i should make something special so we're going to be making this beautiful cake with lots of hearts on the outside and a surprise heart on the inside this cake would also be great for a loved one's birthday or anniversary or any other special day so we'll start by baking the cakes uh, the pans for this particular design are different from regular cake pans as you can see they have a hollow on the inside and we have a big one and a small one this one is bigger and then the other one is smaller so we're going to put the batter until it covers that circle in the middle do that for both pans and just level it put a little bit more so I'm just taking out some and leveling it over that circle in the middle so oh, I baked them at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes and then now I'm taking the cakes out of the pans and you'll see that there's a space in the middle in the center of each cake and that's what is going to form the heart shape when we put the when we put icing in that space in the middle I'm just wrapping the cakes in plastic wrap and I'm going to put them in the fridge to rest while I prepare the icing So now it's time to ice and assemble the cakes. I've put the bigger, um, the bigger cake on the cake board, and I colored my icing with red food coloring. I used a merry color. I put the icing in a bag, in a piping bag, so it's easier to fill that space with the icing so I'm just going to level it with my offset spatula so you put the icing just up to that uh, the top of that circle in the middle okay when the bottom one is level I'll put it in the fridge to chill while I also fill the smaller one it's good for the icing to firm up before we do the next step. So the smaller circle or the smaller cake. The cakes are actually 8 inch cakes. I'm going to put the icing in that space to that like I did with the bigger cake. And just level it and then put it in the fridge to, to chill. Because the next step will need the icing to be nice and firm. So the cakes will rest in the fridge for at least half an hour before we take them out and do the next step. So the cakes are out of the fridge and now it's time to stack them or put them together. I'll be putting the smaller one on top of the bigger one. So this is why we need the icing to be firm because we are going to invert the smaller cake over the bigger one and we don't want the icing spilling around. So we'll just put it over the big one and match it and make the edges even. And that's how you assemble the cake and then now do a crumb coat with the same red, red icing and put it in the fridge to chill again for about 10 minutes before I take it out and do the final coating of icing I'm using Italian meringue butter cream for this cake and I'm going to post a video of how I made the icing so I'm 
just cleaning the cake board and then I'm finishing up with the crumb coating and I'm going to put the cake in the fridge to chill while I prepare some toppings for the or toppers for the cake I'm going to melt some candy melts some white candy melts I just put them in the microwave at 30 second intervals until it's melted and when it's melted it's still very thick so I'll add a bit of hot water to it and mix it until it has a runny consistency and I'm going to add some red food coloring to it because I want to make some red hearts to put on top of the cake so those are some molds that I bought some heart shaped molds then I'm going to form some hearts some red hearts chocolate hearts so I'll put those in the freezer to harden and did that overnight put in the freezer to harden if I take them out and put on the cake and then here I'm rolling some pink fondant to cut out some hearts that I'll put on the cake and after that I'm going to cut out some red hearts too I initially wanted to do, do just red hearts but then I thought oh, it would be good to do like a mixture of colors so pink and red hearts so the hearts are ready now I'm going to do the final coating of icing on the cake so I'm doing white on red and then I'm going to add a little bit of red icing on the top and just give it a nice marble look so I'm just going to add the icing and smooth it and then we'll put on the heart shaped decorations on the cake So I've just taken out those molds from the freezer and the hearts, the chocolate hearts are hardened now. So take them out and put them on the cake as cake toppers. Just smoothing the cake one last time. So we just put the decorations or the toppers. And then put the hearts, the fondant hearts around.
I also have this dark chocolate hearts that I made earlier and they already hardened so I'm just adding that and then adding some other chocolates you can add any chocolates of your choice and then I have this love cake topper which is perfect for Valentine's Day so I've added that on top of the cake too and that gives us a beautiful Valentine's Day cake with lots of hearts and chocolates and a love cake topper and the best part for me is the hidden heart inside the cake so we'll cut it to reveal that hidden heart so the heart was formed by the, the dome or circle that is in the cake pan and then the icing that we filled in that space so that's how you get a hidden or, or surprise heart in a cake. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you and have a good day. Bye for now. Please stay tuned for next for my next video. Thanks.